Good evening. Taxpayers will foot the bill for payouts worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, with one senior public servant quitting and another sacked. Jay Weatherall gave a day's notice before axing the man in charge of the state's biggest projects. A last supper for Rod Hook, lunching with friends and colleagues on North Terrace today after being booted from his high-powered and high-paid government job. I want to come in to thank my staff. They're wonderful and um, things, will, things will move on. Until late yesterday, Mr Hook spent more than a decade as Chief Executive of the Transport and Infrastructure Department. He was in charge of projects worth billions of dollars, most recently the major train line extensions, the South Road Superway and the transformation of Adelaide Oval and the creation of the Torrance footbridge. South Australia is a better place because Rod was a public servant, OK? Uh, and I love the bloke. The Premier also praising his work but unapologetic for the move. We're going to have to hit the accelerator if we're going to actually make the changes necessary to transform and modernise the South Australian economy. So I need new leadership, I need new energy, I need new ideas. Also gone today, Fred Hansen, boss of Renewal SA, believed to have brought forward his retirement plans. They were delivering and they were also in a process of saying that they're not going to be here in the long term. So I need to get on with the process of finding new leadership. Jay Weatherall sending a strong message to all his department chiefs, signalling the clean-out may not be over. I think everybody should be uh, trying to do the best they can every day. These are incredibly highly paid jobs uh, that are about delivering for the taxpayers of South Australia and the community. Mr Hook was on a salary of around $370,000. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, to remove a chief executive officer uh, at such short notice. That golden handshake likely to be in the form of a payout of at least a quarter of a million dollars. On one guy. Life will, life will continue. We'll move on. And Will McDonnell joins us now live. Will, what happens next? Oh, good evening, Kate. Well, the next step involves finding two full-time replacements for these two very senior positions within the government. The two ICs of each department have been installed as acting CEOs for the time being, but the Premier says he will personally oversee the recruitment process, which will involve not only a nationwide but also an international search for the very best recruits. Now, the Premier also says that he doesn't want any yes men or women in these jobs. He's pointed that out very clearly. But he also wants people with bold, fresh ideas and certainly ones that can give complete dedication over the next four years, which is Labor's fourth consecutive term in government. Back to the studio. All right. Thank you very much, Will.